Hi, and welcome to this video. Uh, and welcome to the Android Developers Backstage Studio. We are, we just recorded a podcast and we're pretending like we're still recording. I'm Chet. I'm Romo. I'm Tor. So we might recycle this video year after year. Yeah, also we were not in Ukraine, idea. so that would Welcome make to sense. 2019. Welcome to 2020. So why, why do we do these things? Why do we do the podcast? Why do we go to conferences? Uh, mostly because if you put a mic in front of us, we'll just start talking. No, 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 that's the real reason. <laughs> oh, I, want, the I, want, reason. Yeah, okay. I want the supposed reason. <laughs> All right. Uh, we like to share our knowledge. <laughs> we like to propagate <laughs> learnings. <laughs> Not, not the pompous reason. I mean, oh, I sorry, mean that's me. Be, that's me yeah. being French. Yeah. I'm just okay. Uh, so I like to. Well, I actually like going to conferences anyway because of the the learnings. Uh, I do enjoy going to talks, especially in topics that I don't know yet, and just trying to absorb a little tiny bit. Maybe I'll get there eventually. Well, I should mention that you going to a talk just turns. You know, it's basically you for one hour going. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. I did that recently to a couple of times. Yeah. So that, that didn't work, but maybe next time I see it, I'll understand, you know, at least up to slide two instead of just slide one. Uh, I also enjoy going and giving talks, and I know uh, you all do as well, because to me, it's fun to, to try to understand deeply a part of the system and then to try to uh, pass on that knowledge, to share that knowledge to other developers so that they can also understand. Really, I thought it was the love of the fear. Like we get on stage well, and we're, we're still super nervous. And it's like, what if they realize that we're idiots who don't know what they're talking about? As long as you talk fast enough, no one has the time to think that thought. That's true. It's also a chance for us to fix all the mistakes we didn't design, right? So if the API isn't good, at least we can show you how to use it post-release. True. That's a little depressing. But <laughs> yeah, that sure. dark quickly. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, any the dark, the any dark system, even very well-designed systems, is really complicated. The yeah. stuff that developers mm -hmm. have to do is very complicated. And the, the vast array of things that they need to understand just at the API level is huge. So I think having examples of how to use that stuff and and more importantly, like to the, the kinds of talks that we do, like the trash talk that we gave recently, um, understanding things that are deeper, deeper level than the APIs. It's not just the methods that you call, but how does the system actually work? Well, it's actually a good point because, I mean, our app developers, their job is to write apps, not to spend hours and hours trying to understand the platform, and that's where we can help. I mean, just the, the trash talk we just gave, that was a lot of work for yeah. us to gather all the information, and we have access to the team who worked on the garbage collector, yep. uh, and we can't expect everyone to be able to do that. Well, that wouldn't scale because there's not many people on the art team. Uh, but yeah, like they, they have better things to do. Uh, it's true. It's also why we do the podcast. So we have these episodes. So a typical episode on the podcast is not talking to the person who designed the, you know, the paging API and say, how does the API work? Instead, it is what's the motivation for designing this thing? What's the problem that you're trying to solve? How does it work underneath? Right? How are developers supposed to understand this system? Like, if you want the APIs, you can go to the docs. Right? We are not here to regurgitate documentation. Yeah, and something, uh, so Chen and I, we've been giving talks together for 12 or 13 years, uh, and we're still doing it for some reason. But we've always done that. Like We'd like to explain how things work on this, because I think like our experience as developers was that it was making us more effective. Because, um, you know, like you said, no API is perfect, so you're going to run into bugs or behaviors that you don't understand or performance issues. And if you have some understanding of how it works underneath, you'll you'll get a better idea of what to do, how to work around it, how to maybe fix it or rewrite your own or whatever it is that you need to do to get your job done. So um, I discovered when I'm preparing for talks, I find all the bugs in the tools that I wouldn't find through normal usage. So when you're yeah. trying to put together a comprehensive demo, you go, ooh, here's a problem I didn't see when I was developing this. Yep. And then you can fix it, make the software better. And then, and then we that the fix was always there. Yeah, and we've seen Tor fix them on stage. Yes. yes. <laughs> Which is going never above and beyond. It's never too late. Tor is the demo god. So here's an example of, of understanding the system. So we believe deeply that the best profiling tool, if you really want to know what's going on, is SysTrace. Well, if you look at the SysTrace output and you have no idea how the system works, you will not understand it guaranteed because it's going to show really important information about elements of the system like surface layer, like the frequency of the, the CPUs, like you know other threads and other processes in the system that have dependencies on what your process is doing and vice versa. So if you don't actually know what's going on in the system, then you're not going to understand important information about the performance for your application. So learning more about the overall system can make you a better developer for your specific use case of your application. Yeah, and SysTrace is interesting because I think also something we try to do in our talks is take, um, you know, we're talking about an API, for instance, or the garbage collector like we just did, but we try to tie it to other things in the system. So we use SysTrace as an example in our talk on garbage collection to show like, 
all those things can be used together to get a better understanding about the APIs in the system and make your application better. They're not like little islands uh, that are standalone. That is the hope. So now we have to go figure out what the other parts of the system are that we should <laughs> learn and describe as well. Or just keep having guests on the podcast. That's the easy part. Right? We don't have to understand it. We just have the experts. Or we well, that's the secret the reason why we do the podcast. We, it's a chance for us to ask the questions without looking dumb for asking. Oh, I look dumb. On the I don't theory think I that, avoid that let, let's say that I, that's what you do. Let's say I didn't understand how this works. Can you explain to our listeners yes. how this works? <laughs> it's a good trick. Uh, or we could keep our, our scam going and keep giving the same talks over and over again, like, you know, graphics rendering. Uh, we 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 could yeah we don't really get that benefit I do see a lot of talks being given again and again and again and I think well, how can they do that because I kind of feel like if I've given a talk once and then it was recorded as in the GDG Dev Fest there's the the plug for the whole video thing. callback if yes. it's for Dev Fest I'm um, so unclear about that <laughs> uh, then then people have already seen it right but I think the reality is whenever you ask people in a room if you happen to give that talk again a very small minority of people like it is out there people can access it i do hope that they watch it they certainly do for things like io videos um but I, in general people probably got on with their job and and haven't taken the if you see an video. io video at this point from two two years ago you figure ah that's stale right right you're not going to bother watching well, there's the also hour. like I, I think a lot of people do what i do which is this all those amazing talks that, that seem really interesting that i want to watch and i put them in my watch later playlist on youtube and then i and never watch it there <laughs> right right watch later eventually yeah or uh, never yeah so yeah, hopefully you're Don't watching make that the videos. Mistake. Watch this hopefully today. Set aside time things. this weekend. Yes, and next weekend, yeah. and the weekend after that. Also, if it's on YouTube, two X. Yes, that's super. Plus, you know, if you have uh, all access or YouTube Red, is that what it's called? You can download. Uh, you can offline. It's really useful for yep. you know commuting. It used to be YouTube Red, uh, unless YouTube you're the driver, and then that case, don't do it. Yes. They're probably going to use a cat video as an interstitial instead of this one. How long was this supposed to be? I don't know. Yeah, we're, I think we're done. You know, we keep talking until someone stops us, just an FYI. Like I said, if there's a mic, forget. <laughs>